Hi. Hello and welcome, Noah Chavez. Good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, we have technical problems. Technical issues. Hello, can you hear me? Welcome, Brian, Ariel, Hernandez, Navas. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, how are you, my brother? I'm fine, thank you, and you? I'm good. Okay. I'm good, man. It was a good day. You had a you had a good day? Uh yes. Uh good day. It's sunny. I'm sorry, a good day? Yes, teacher. You had a good day? Okay, good, 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 good. All right, welcome to the class. Hello, Noe, can you hear me now, Noe? Noe Vasquez, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Usted me escucha. Perfect. Uh, okay. Perfect, okay, so this is Noe, right? You're Noe, and Brian, hello, Brian. Can you hear me, Brian? Brian Hernandez? Good evening, teacher. Hello, and gentlemen. Oh, yeah? What's new? What's new? Okay, nothing new. Okay. Hello, Mr. Juan Linares. How are you doing today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Case um, estadia. Um, how are you in general? Um, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, today was it was my free day. Your day off? To, yes. Nice, I don't nice. I don't work today. Monday? Yes. That's good, man. Monday as a day off? Yes. That's great. Yeah, good for you, man. Good for you. So so you stayed home? You stayed in your house? Uh, yes. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice, my man. All right. Welcome to the class. Get comfortable. And uh, let me say also welcome to Miss Maria. Hello, Maria. See what's Hi, up. Hello, Miss. How are you doing today? Very fine. Very good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm happy to see you in the class. Okay. Thank you for your punctuality. Thank you. Okay. And, um, well, let's do a little recap from yesterday's, yesterday's class. Okay. Do you remember yesterday's class? A little bit? Yes. Uh -huh. Adverbs, adverbs, adjectives. Adverbs before? Before adjectives. Yeah, adjectives. Before adjectives. Ah, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, can you guys remind me with, refresh me with one example?
adverbs to very, pretty, party, really. All right. So you remember some of the adverbs like fairly, very, really, right? Um, pretty, pretty, yes, pretty. As a, as a, what? Don't what? Somewhat, yes, somewhat, like like two. a little. Two. two, two. Okay, all right. Family. Okay. It's family. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so that's something that we studied yesterday. I'm happy you guys uh, remember. Okay. So we're going to share the screen right now. So we continue with the video we were watching yesterday. Remember, make your questions. And please confirm um, if, you can, if you can see and uh, listen. Can you see my screen? My teacher. What about now? Can you yes. see my screen? Yes, I can. Now, can you hear? Yes. yes. Let's yes. work yes. with the other yes. very and put it in a sentence. Okay, okay, okay. okay Her cool. car. So we're going to put it back a little bit right here. And modify an adjective, giving more of place. It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Let's start. An adverb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. Okay, so in that case, we are using the... Which adverb are we using? What is the adverb? Very, very. Very, excellent, thank you. What is the adjective? Expense. Expensive. Okay. Expensive. 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 Okay, so, 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 so the example says her car is very expensive. Do you understand? Her yes. car it's is very expensive. So maybe she has a, a BMW, maybe it's a Ferrari, maybe it's a Lamborghini, who knows, but it is very expensive, very expensive. Okay, next example. Uh, what is the uh, adverb? Very. Very. Still, very. Um, We're using very. very. And the adjective is? Tall. tall. Very tall. Okay. Um, can you try to say one example using very? Can you describe maybe yourself, maybe somebody else, maybe a place, maybe a, a thing, maybe a kind of food? Can you say one example? My house is very, is very big. Excellent. Maria, right? Yes. My house is very big big excellent good for you good for you thank you that is a correct example my sister is very friendly my car is very nice really excellent my car is very nice my son is Pretty happy. You said pretty? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. My son is pretty happy. My house is fairly big. My house is fairly big. Okay, excellent. Así me adelantaron, right? So we're using very right now. That's good. You can use fairly, you can use pretty, you can use really. Uh, at the end of the day, Los tres sirve para modificar. Uh, all of them, all of them, the uh, all of the adverbs, uh, they are to modify. So, if you adverb. want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. It is not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car so, is. 
this is the contrast, right? In this case, can you read the first box? Can you read the first box, Maria? Her car is expensive. So listen to the context. Listen to the context. Her car is expensive. The context means a lot. The cost is expensive. But it's different to say it with an adverb. Can you read that box, Jaime, for us? Sorry, teacher. The last box, can you read it? Oh, it does not to say her car mm -hmm. is very expensive. Her car is very expensive. So, <laughs> like at this level, her car is expensive. Her car is expensive, but her car is very expensive. It's like an increase, right? It's super expensive. It's new, maybe, right? Yes. Let's yes. move on. It's very expensive. Now let's talk about these charts. Notice they're organized from the most to the least. We also have the other two, which means more than you want so we usually use give me one second i want to come back i want to come back where they show this image from the most okay see the most is extremely extremely is 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 the biggest one right extremely okay extremely. that's the order this is the order guys okay you can picture you can picture this, yes, you can picture this image. So you practice, okay? Extremely. Extremely. Next. Very. 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 Okay. So for example, um, I, I will say, I will say learning, learning Mandarin is extremely difficult. It's extremely difficult okay very next really really okay. really next really. Pretty. Pretty. pretty pretty okay next fairly fairly okay in the last one the one at the bottom somewhat 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 okay any questions so far? Sure. I have yes. A question. Yes. Uh, what is the what is the difference uh, the intensifier and in the in this case extremely? The intensity is is the highest intensity is the highest intensity extremely that's the number one okay yes so it's different if you say um for example russia is extremely big yes what is big teacher i'm sorry what is big I don't. I apologize, teacher. I'm not at home. Oh, I will listen to class. Okay, Jose. Okay, Jose. I understand. Puedes. You can chat also. Okay, if you wanna put your comment, your opinion, your participation, you can chat. Sí, mis me perdí ahí la palabrita que me dijo. ¿Cómo era? Bake, entendí yo que dijo usted. Bake. No. Eh, no, no. Rusia, no, no sé qué. O Russia, de, de Rusia, ¿verdad? Ru uh -huh. Russia is, um, is a extremely big country. Yeah. Uh -huh. Russia is a extremely big. Okay. Ahí no cabría decir it's somewhat or fairly or pretty because it's, 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 it's amazingly. <laughs> big okay somewhat can somebody say one example using somewhat 
Tongwat. For example, if I am in uh, San Salvador, okay, if I am in San Salvador, um, Arce City, for me, Arce City is somewhat far. Le. Yeah, it's somewhat far. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. So, can you say one example using somewhat? Dog is somewhat angry. 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 Bravo. Angry. Um, angry. Angry. Repeat. Angry. angry. Like. Angry. Right. Angry. angry. Yes. So your dog is somewhat angry. Okay. It's a little. It's a little, right? It's a little angry. It's somewhat angry. Estamos diciendo lo mismo, right? Different ways, different forms. Expanding your knowledge. Nice, nice. Who can say one example using really? Really. For example, I am a really happy person. Really, this this class is really interesting. Excellent, excellent. Repeat, repeat. Interesting. 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 Repeat. Interesting. 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 Mm. Repeat. Interest. Interest. Like like the interest, como el interés. Interest. 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 Ahora, interesting. 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 Yes. This class is really interesting. Yes. My students are extremely intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> my students are extremely intelligent. All right. Yes. Yes. English is really fun. English is really fun. Really? Yeah. Yes, teacher. I um, can say uh, my sister is a really good student. Is a is a really good daughter. Right? Es una buena es una muy buena hija, verdad? O hermana. Uh, hermana. My sister is a really good student. It's student. Called... Okay, okay, okay. Yes. My sister is a really good. Did you say really good? Yes. Really good is correct. Really is the adjective. I'm sorry. Really is the adverb. Okay. Good is the adjective. adjective. Yes. My yes. sister is a, my sister is a really good student. Okay. Okay. Nice. You guys are really good students as well. Okay. No more questions. Let's continue. To the least. We also have the adverb too, which means more than you want. So we usually use it with a negative adjective. Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me. Meaning the dress won't fit okay, me. Okay, check those examples. Check those examples. Help me, Azucena. Can you read the examples, please? Okay. Uh, two. Yep. And which means more than you want. So we usually use it with negative adjective. Real following sentence yes uh, this dress is too big for me mm -hmm. that's right dress won't fit me this dress is too big yes 
It's too big for me. It's too much, too much. This coffee, this coffee is too sweet. Do you understand? Yeah. This coffee is too sweet for me. Too much sugar. Yes? <laughs> My brother is too angry. My brother is too angry. Yes? So it's too much. Too much. Yes? Especially when we're going to express something negative. This is to express something negative. Yes? Can somebody say one example using to, expressing something negative? To plus adjective. Their shoes are too big for me. Correct. Their shoes are too big for me. Yes. This store is too expensive for me. <laughs> yes. Traffic. Traffic is too crazy in El Salvador. <laughs> okay, can you say one example? Two. In an adjective. My cell phone is too where for me. My cell phone is too where for me. Too well. Okay. My cell phone is too well for me. Okay. Good. Good. Somebody else? The so for... Salvadoran food is too delicious. Yes, yeah, Salvadoran food is too delicious. I can't stop. I want more. I want more and more and more and more, right? Thank you. Good job. It's too much. It's too much delicious, Jess. It's too delicious. It's too tasty. All right. Thank you for the participation. Let's move on. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on a discussion box adverb. Remember to use the following structure. X plus is. Okay, plus guys, uh, so you're going to make one example each, okay? So you're gonna say one with extremely, one example with very, one example with really, one example with pretty, one example with fairly, and one example with somewhat, okay? So that's two, four, six examples. You can, you can chat the examples on the WhatsApp group, yes? Or you can send an audio, you can send a voice note, yeah, with the example on the WhatsApp chat. Para mañana, okay, for tomorrow. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, yes, yes teacher. teacher. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect, okay? Let's continue. Let me call this. Adverb plus adjective. Good luck. Best of luck, okay. Let me minimize this one and let's scroll up. We're going to move on with this topic, guys. I hope you guys understand. Uh, this is something you obviously need to complete. You're familiarized with it. Uh, please complete it. Please complete your platform. Todos tienen acceso a su plataforma, verdad? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Awesome. Yes, awesome. Let's go to the next objective, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Uh, let me see, let me see. Jose, Leo, read today's objective, please. Okay, how about you, Maria? Can you help me, Maria? Yes. Go ahead. In this section, 
participant will now identify yeah. and use yeah. conclusions such as and but tone, tone yeah. and yeah. where. Repeat identify. I identify. I identify. I identi yeah. identify. Excellent. Conjunctions. 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 Tales como Conjunctions. such as such as such as such as and 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 but 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 though 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 though, though, though however. However. however repeat guys however 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 though 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 though, 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 though but, but 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 end end, end. end. all right let's move on let's go let's go let's go let's watch this video about conjunctions if you have any yeah. audio problems let me know okay Hi, nice to see you again. This time we'll talk yeah. about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Conjunctions. Yeah. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city is ugly and small. Canada is a big country, so please stay with us. Conjunctions. Okay. Ojo, quien me tiene ahí uh, interferencia ahí, guys, in the background. Necesito que pongas uh, mute, por favor, a tu mic microphone, para que no nos cause interferencia, okay? So... Guys, is this some conjunctions? Conjunctions they use to link two sentences. They link, they put together two sentences. That's why we use conjunctions. We have end, repeat end. And we have but, but, but. we have though, 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 though. and we have however. 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 Okay. However. First example, first example, first example, Juan Linares, go ahead. Read it. Read. It's an exciting, it's an exciting city. And the weather is nice. Yes. It's a big city. It's wait, 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 wait. Let's analyze this first example. It's an exciting it's an exciting, it's beautiful, it's, it's, it's fun, it's fun and beautiful. It's an exciting city, okay? Okay. It's an, an exciting city. And, and additionally, additionally, like additional information. And, and the weather, the, the climate, the weather is nice. Okay, para agregar información. And, okay. Okay, take it into consideration. Next example, next example. Let's see, Jaime, help us. It's a big city, but it's not uh, too big. Okay. It's a big city, but it's not too big. A little contradictory, right? ¿Qué entenderían ustedes si les digo eso, right? Es una ciudad grande, pero no es demasiado grande. Do you understand the context? It's a big city, but it's not too big. Decíamos que too es demasiado, como too demasiado. much. Ajá, entonces es grande, pero no demasiado grande. It's a big city, but it's, it's, it's not too big. It's not like New York City, for example. Okay, but 
Next example. Let's go, Miss Maria Flores. Can you hear me, Miss Maria Flores? Nope. Okay, let's go with Maria Siwansa. Yes? Uh, activate your microphone. It's a big city. It's, a, it's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's, it's not, not too big, too though. Big, though. Ahí como que tratamos como de hacer un link entre la última um, palabra y el conjunction. Um, it's a big city. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's not too big, though. It's not too big, though. Ahora, este es como super, super, super native, right? Esto lo usan mucho los nativos, right? It's not too big, though. It's not too difficult, though. Um, it's, not, it's not easy, though. It's not easy, though. Okay? It's expensive, though. Es como un pero. Este pero va al final. Es similar al but. So the okay, but va in the middle, right? In the middle of two sentences. Though okay. es un pero, pero va al final. Okay? It goes at the end of the sentence. Okay, let's go to the last yeah. example. What's your audio, please, Maria? Turn off your microphone. Uh, let me see. Azucena, help us, Azucena, with the last example. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. How? However. 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 It's like, sin embargo, right? It's a big city. Uh, it's not too big, however. Como something negative. Something negative. Like a negative contrast. Mm, however, yeah. It's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. It's a little negative. Let's continue. It's an exciting city, and the weather is nice. It's a big okay. city, but it's not yes. too big. Yes, somebody call me? No. Okay. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city is ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Okay, let's analyze this, this first, uh, these examples using the conjunction AND, okay? First example, um, Brian, can you read the first one, please? Okay, um, let's see, Mr. Juan Linares, first example, please. Okay, the city is ugly and small. See, the city is ugly and small. So we're giving two adjectives, so we're adding information. Ugly is, is, is one piece of information, uh, so to add more, Small is the second piece of information, so we use N. The city is ugly and small. Okay, next example. Let's see, Jaime, go ahead. Canada. Yes, Canada is a big country and very clean. And very clean, that's correct. And very clean and very organized, right? They are very organized. Canada is a big country and very clean. Okay. Clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction and. Two ideas. The city is ugly and small. Ugly is one idea. Small is the second idea. Second example. Canada is a big country. Big is the first idea, okay? And very clean is the second idea, okay? Let's move on. Okay. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. 
Did you notice which punctuation goes before and? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction but. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the middle of a sentence. And I Check it out. But. But. What? Let me see, Noe, help us. Reading, please. Hi, teacher. This one connects a positive idea with a negative idea, and it goes in the model, middle all a uh, synthesis and a uh, comma goes before the conclusion as well. Interesting, interesting. Okay, connects a positive idea. Yes, connects a positive idea with a negative idea. So we have one positive and one negative. Okay. Um, and it goes in the middle repeat middle. middle in the middle, middle in the center middle. in the middle. center in the middle, middle. of the middle. sentence okay for example here in the middle look in the middle, middle. first example let's see first example jilma go ahead example the bar is clean but it is very small the fat is good but it's but it is very expensive. Okay, look at that. Look at that. The park. Help the me. Park. The park is clean. 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 Class, is that is that a positive idea or a negative idea? Positive. It's a positive, positive. idea. Okay. Positive. The park is yeah. clean. Clean. But in the middle, in the middle. But and then what? the negative yes. idea. Very it is very small. small. Fijémonos small. que estamos hablando del parque. Entonces, luego de usar la conjunction, iniciamos otra idea. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que necesito un sujeto nuevamente. Acá era the park y ahora va a ser it. Ya no voy a repetir the park. Voy a decir it. Right? But it's very small. It is very small. It's a negative idea. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Awesome, awesome. Next example. Next example. The food is good. The food. Okay, Gilma. Food. The food is good. It's, food. A, it's largo. It's food good. Food. The food, food. is good. Food. But, food. okay, but it is very, very expensive. expensive. It. It's. What is it representing in this case? Food. The food. The food. food. Excellent. Excellent. So the food is good is a positive or negative idea? Positive. It's a positive idea. Positive. And it is very expensive. It's a negative idea. Negative. Podemos cambiar el orden. Podemos decir, um, the food is very expensive, but it's good. It's good. It is good. It's good. All right. You can change the order. Let's continue. La coma goes before the... Wait, wait one second. I want to check this chat. Okay, Maria, I understand. Conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left. Though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Okay, let's check. Though, 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 though. Check the spelling. Check the spelling. T H O U G H. Though. 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 Okay. However, 
However. 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 All right. Jose Leonardo, can you hear me, Jose? Brian Ariel, can you hear me? Nope. Okay, let's go with um these two conjunction. Okay, Are Brian. Things... Read the first box, please. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a pos positive idea with a negative idea, but they go at the end of the sentence. Okay, so what, what is telling you is that though and however is very similar to the other conjunction, but is very similar, yes? But goes in the middle. Okay, the difference is that but goes in the middle and though and however, they go at the end of the sentence. Yes? For example, yes, yes. it's a big city, it's not too, too crowded though. So it's at the end of the sentence. Siempre estamos eh, haciendo un contraste entre algo positivo y negativo, pero va al final, it goes at the end, that's correct goes at the end. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. It's a big city, right? It's not too crowded, though. Okay. Next example. He's really good looking. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Aquí ya estamos hablando de su personalidad, ¿verdad? Nice. He's not nice, however. So his appearance, his appearance is good looking, very handsome, like Brad Pitt, like Leonardo DiCaprio, right? He's very good looking, really good looking. But, or, or I'm sorry, he's not nice. He's not nice, however. However, at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in a discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. And the weather is nice. It's a big city. Two negative ideas. For example, Okay, the city's ugly so we're going and... to make examples using and. And. And should be easy. And should be easy. Can you try one example? Come on, come on, come on. Participation time. And. Conjunction and uh -huh. try one example using and I am working and studying. I am working and I study. And studying. Let me chat that one. That's a good example. Okay, thank you for your participation. It will be I am working and studying. Correct. I'm working and studying you're adding additional information somebody else can you say one example using and conjunction and el salvador is beautiful and small el salvador is beautiful and small.
I would say, I would say, um, porque ahí se entendería un poquito como que small sonaría como, como negativo, ¿ya? Entonces es, se, sería mejor. Let me see. El Salvador es small and beautiful. Let me see. Sounds a little. El Salvador is small and beautiful. Yeah. Good, 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 good. One more try. Somebody else has one example. The dog is a pet. I'm um, sorry. Sería decir, um, my dog is a pet. Una mascota. My dog um, is. A, yeah. Um, wait, wait. My pet is a dog. Sería. My pet is a dog. My pet is a dog and cat too. Mm. Y el gato también. Mm -hmm. My pets are a dog and a cat. Okay. Can you repeat? My pets are a dog and a cat. A, a dog and a cat. Yes? My yes. pets are a dog and a cat. Okay. Repeat. My pets are a dog and a cat. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. I have an example, teacher. Go for it. Go for it. Uh, we played... Uh, we played soccer and we won. We play soccer and win. We played soccer and we won. Oh, you got, you're saying it in simple pass. Me la estás dando en pasado, ¿verdad? Yes, uh, yes. it's correct. Yes, it's correct. We played soccer and we won. Uh huh. That is a simple pass. Yes. Okay. We play soccer and we won. En el primer ejemplo es como que lo, lo hacen siempre, como algo eh, generalizado, como una rutina, ¿ya? Nosotros jugamos, jugamos uh, soccer y ganamos, como que siempre lo hacemos, right En el que tú dijiste, la acción ya pasó, eh, pasó uh, reciente, right Simple pass, we played soccer and we won. Jugamos y ganamos, y ganamos. So, it's a correct example. Good example, Juan. Thank you. Somebody else? Or let's continue. Let's go Small. with. Let's go with next conjunction. Let me see. Next Can and. That's okay. right. A comma. This one connects. But. Okay. I want you to use but. Remember, but you need to connect. You need to connect a positive idea and a negative idea. Okay. Okay. Let's try. Let's try. Something positive and something negative. Share your examples, people. Share your examples. Participation time. Speak your English. Let's go. My cat is cute, but he's fat. <laughs> okay, my cat is cute, but it's fat. Wait, which cat? You have many cats. <laughs> ¿Cuál de todos mis? <laughs> El negrito. Okay, the blacky one, huh? The blacky one. Okay, good. 
My cat is nice, it's beautiful, but it, it is fat. E gordo is it. It's fat. Thank you, Azucena. Somebody else? Example, please. This cat is fat. Nice. Wow, he's so fat. He's definitely fat. Fatty, he's a fatty. Your your cat needs to do exercise. Yes. <laughs> All right. I like I like pizza, but it's bad for me. Yeah. I like pizza, but it's bad for me. Yes, I need to exercise, but I don't go to the gym. I need to exercise, but I don't go to the gym. Go for it. Uh huh. Give one example something positive and something negative. I like pasta, but I don't like uh, sushi. <laughs> what about you? Something positive, something negative using but. Use the conjunction but. Let's go. Study English is interesting, but is expensive. Studying, studying English is interesting. Good example, miss. Great example. Look at that. Studying, y cuando hablamos de, de eh, el tema va a ser en una actividad, siempre lo vamos a poner en gerundio, ¿ok? Studying, como el hecho de estudiar inglés. Studying English is interesting. It's interesting. Yes? Studying English is interesting, but it's expensive. Great example. Studying English is interesting, positive, but it's expensive. Congratulations, Susana. Nice example. Somebody else? Sure. Go. Sure. Go for it. I need to buy a new car, but I don't have money. Excellent. Excellent. So, vamos a corregir algo. I need to buy a I car to. i need to yes but okay. i don't have money i need to buy eh, esos dos verbos eso es un infinitivo okay podemos revisar esa parte ahí en google google it okay infinitives i need to buy a car but i don't have money Need to buy a car is, is a positive idea, yes. Don't have money, it's negative. Great okay. example, Noah, Mr. Noah, great example. Vamonos, last example, last example. Go ahead, last example. Okay, the house is very big, but is uh, a little expensive. Okay, okay, I like that one. The house is very big, but it's ex it's very expensive, is that what you said? Yes. It's very- It's very expensive. Expensive. All right, the house is very big. It's a, it's a positive idea. The house is very big, but- 
it's very expensive, right? Um, that's the negative idea. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. Very good. Let's just stop right here. Let me stop right here and um, let me uh, switch to switch to Spanish. Switch to Spanish. En este minuto, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Eh, Noé, díganos, Noé, en este minuto, um, su opinión. ¿Cómo estamos hasta ahorita? ¿Cómo se siente um, con el curso, con la dinámica que llevamos? Tenemos un minuto. Eh, ¿En español o inglés? Whatever, whatever you want, whatever you want. Eh, I, I like very much the class. Eh, yesterday and, and now very I know important, very important um, I like very nice mood. thank you thank you especially because we have very uh, interested people you are interested people you want to learn English you want to be bilingual so that's good that's good I'm, I'm helping you as much as I can Thank you for your punctuality. Thank you for being participating all the time. That's very important. Taking notes, making corrections, participation. Thank you, guys. Good job. Okay. I'll let you go. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye, everyone. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. I see Bye -bye. you. See you. Bye.